What's up guys, it's Team Hard Life, Captain Albert for teaching you. Today we're gonna do an international 80 wide. We're gonna do 1500 yards of 130 pound Jerry Brown. And then we're gonna top it off with the 125 pound Bull Buster. Um, reason why I'm recording this is because I like to be able to keep track of what kind of braid is going on to every kind of reel that we're spooling. I mean, I wish I had done this from the very beginning because we've already done this kind of combination, but we never recorded it. Um, but now that we got the channel going, we've got everybody asking all these questions of what's going on in every single reel, at least now you'll be able to do a search through our videos and you can actually see it get done. So, here's another one. Let's see how it goes. The cool thing about it right now is it's focused in on the reel, but it's catching the line counter. So like perfectly, you can see the line counter on it. So.
thing about a single gear reel, man. It spins so fast that the line jumps back and forth. So I know I'm not going to get it as tight as I normally would have if it was in low gear, you know what I mean? So, I mean, not, not mean tight, but like what, what's ended up. Well, let me explain this all here, too. Um, this is a single speed international. Um, the one bad thing about single speeds when spooling is the gear ratio is so high that even as you're spooling down or spooling up a reel, the line tends to jump and create gap. As you can see, if you look closely, you can see little bits of gap. Um, let me... Okay, so you can kind of see the little bits of gap where it's jumping back and forth on the spool and that's because of the high rate of speed that this reel is reeling in um, obviously if I'm gonna go slower I can get it done but then this would take a drastic amount of time longer um, so to keep the video within reason um, you know pretty much going at a high rate of speed but at the same time too I know I'm not gonna get the crazy amount of line capacity that I would normally get I'll be closer to a solid braid versus a hollow core braid line count. But the one thing I do like is, is that I'm actually set up in position one thing that I do like about this position I have the recorder in is that you can actually see the line counter perfect which is something I've been trying to do for a long time, then I finally, you know, I guess got it right today. Hey, it's gonna start the new year off right. All right, so figured I'd slow it down and give you all a little more insight onto that. Okay, this is a uh, spool from 
BHP tackle. Um, it said it was supposed to be like a Jerry Brown line, but as you can tell, that's some kind of burnt connection point. So I'm going to go with the customer and probably end up cutting it off and re splicing it. Um, I don't know what that is. You want to come check this out, boss? Looks like something got caught in it while they were braiding it. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can pluck it out so I don't have to cut it, but uh, it may be. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, it's a big old hairball. Look at this. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yep. I mean, it's like it's part of the. No, it's it's colored it, but look, watch, watch this loop right here. I'm gonna move it back and forth on it. No, I guess not. Maybe it is part of it. No, look, see how it's moving. Oh yeah. So I may be able to cut that off. Go. Send that clip to JV. We'll see. <laughs> what, what I'm trying to why does it say BHP tackle on there instead of Jerry Brown? That's what I don't understand. That's why I was asking BHP when you brought it in. I was like, because when you said BHP, I was thinking Bob Hall Pierre. I was like, I didn't know they made their own line. <laughs> oh, I got it. Look, got I, it? I got it up. So, okay. But it did though, it must have been some kind of black line that got uh, something mixed. Yeah. But now that I pulled it way out, it's got left a little bit of a loop, an open loop there. See if I can get it to, yeah. Wow, that was weird. Yeah, it, it just, all it did was it tainted the line. And you can see right there, that's where I had opened it up and pulled out that big old knob. But this is still a lot smoother. Uh, than what it was before I started pulling out all that trash out of there. So, we don't have to cut the line. Nice. Okay, all right, so we got it done. The counter says 1,520 yards. Um, maybe he got extra. The spool was supposed to have just 1,500, correct? Yes. Okay. What um, a lot of these other companies that do um, their line counts on their reels, they go off of weight. They don't actually go off of putting it on the line counter itself. Um, I actually talked to Jerry Brown and he was saying that uh, that's the way they send him his spools. And what he does to verify is he puts it on his actual line counter and does the same exact thing that I do. I was like, cool, so I'm not the only one. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only way to do it. All right, 
so now what we're gonna do we're gonna add on 125 pound bull buster to the top shot and right now we got about maybe half an inch of spool exposure left so let's see how much mono we can get on there yeah, I'm thinking maybe a hundred At that point, yeah, I don't no. I don't think so. I figured my math is wrong. I figured I could probably get four or five hundred on there. Yeah, it, it would have been a little easier if it was the two speed, because I, like I said, once I had to go the high rate of speed, it was gapping it out yeah. more than what it should have. Now, I could have sat there and gotten longer, but <laughs> that's a pain in the butt, bro. It's good. <laughs> I mean, I can, I can run, nah, it's not even worth it just to put 100 yards on. A mono? No. No. no I mean, at, that, at that rate, I could just do an, an Albright or something instead of a legit spike and, and run it as like a shock leader type deal instead of a pop shot. Well, but that wouldn't make any sense either because my, I would just have 40 feet of 300 pound mono on my, my rig. It's, it's pointless to even put any of that one point five on there. Yeah, exactly. Um, what I would do is add more braid. Because you're at 1,500 right now. You can get 300 yards at minimum of 130 on top. So now you're running 1,800 instead of 1,500. Yeah. And even if we did the mono right now, we'd probably only would get it like 100 yards. Yeah. Okay, 130. Mm-hmm. The same price as the, the 130. Well, no, I mean, just, oh, I don't oh, know. Quote. On top of spooling. Yeah. All right, so um, after looking at how much line capacity we were going to be able to have with the braid after we got the 1,500 yards on there, we were only going to be able to get maybe 125, 130 yards of mono on top because of the straight edge on the International. So... He's decided to go ahead and add on the red, white, and blue Jerry Brown as a top shot so we can get an extra 300 yards. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the line counter as is as at the 1520 and I'm going to continue adding on the 130. So I'm going to splice in and add it on. We're going to see how much line capacity we can get right there and we'll see how it goes. Number wise, every time I walk into the shop, I spend more than when I walk in the door to well, just, ima just, just imagine it like this. Imagine how much money you're actually saving. Oh, I know. I took your advice, and I went with the Jerry Brown on that reel. It was supposed to be like the XB or something else. Well, here's the other deal. Yeah, yeah. Well, here's the other good thing about it is, too. This is kind of a lesson for you at the same time. Because I always talk about how when you get cut off, you got to splice in and add on. Mm -hmm. So originally, you spent, what, 260, 260 on your first 1500 well, now that you lost, say, 300 yards or whatever, it's only costing you 78 bucks. Yep. So, boom. This is true. Saving money. This is true. Buy once, cry once. Yes, sir. Buy once, cry once.
Okay, I've added in the 300 yards, and uh, <clears throat> hey, boss. Yeah, still plenty of room. <laughs> Make it. Make it an even 2,000. Can you get an even 2,000 on there? Yeah. Yeah. It'll, it'll get 2,000 now. This is where the braid comes into play and you get a lot more line capacity. Oh, hold on. It'll be 2020. So I got an even number on our behalf. Yeah. All right. You want to check it out? All that smack about not running straight braid is here we are. Mm -hmm. Good. <laughs> wonderful. Wonderful. Okay. All right. So we're at 2,020 yards. Get a little zoom in, which is good on this spool. Because, as I said, the housing is straight across, so, you know, if he panics a little bit or he bundles up a little bit, he'll still give enough clearance to where he can still reel in. Now, this is a good starting point, and we'll always keep an eye on it, because now he knows that his red, white, and blue line is 500 yards, and so... The only crazy thing is when I spliced it in, it was white to white. <laughs> so he won't know where the splice is unless he's actually got his fingers on the line, but he'll know once he hits red, white, and blue, he's got about 500 yards. So that'll be pretty cool. All right, guys, so we finished off the International 80 with 2,020 yards of braid of the 130. However, uh, like I said, I spliced in white to white. So he won't know where the, the top shot actually begins until he hits his red or his blue uh, coloration on there. Now, this was kind of something I thought about for a second, and I said a second because one of our customers was in here and I was talking about how he wanted to get into an Avid 80. And I said, well, and I said, you know, that's a good thing. I said, I've been trying to get the YouTube channel to grow to 2,000 subscribers before Christmas. And so I sat there and I was thinking about it. I was like, what if instead of the winner choosing just to go with the SX Raptor and the Tackle Industries Rod with a line, what if they wanted to go with an Avid 80 instead? Because they're right around the same price of what it would take us to get the rod and rail combo versus just an 80 by itself. However, it won't be with any line, but it'll be an Avid 80. What are your, what are your thoughts and comments on it? If y'all kind of like that idea let us know on the comments if we get enough approval we'll go that route and mind you again it'll be a, upon the decision <clears throat> upon the decision of the winner whether they'll go with the rod and reel combo or with the 80. it's not going to be mandatory that we say what it is it'll be up to the winner so again thanks for subscribing to our channel if you've got friends that haven't seen our channel yet be sure to get them to subscribe so we can get this done before the new year so good luck to all and we'll see you then